win, the next game is uh, more important and more important. So, you know, we got to keep going and uh, stay focused and practice hard. Uh, enjoy the win tonight, but tomorrow is back to work. You ever played a more a, a weirder first quarter? I mean, you were on the field the whole first quarter. And you guys were head 14 to nothing. I mean, it was it was just a strange yeah, first quarter. Yeah, uh, it was out there. You know, it was hard for our defense, but uh, you know, it just becomes a mind game. Then we don't feel that long. Uh, you just got to keep playing and keep playing hard and just emphasize getting off the field on that third down. The last series, I guess, after you guys took the lead, I mean, the way you battered Stanzi out there. I mean, talk about that. <laughs> Uh, you know, it was just, it was just good. You know, we had to change up the calls, and uh, you know, Coach Brown, Coach Kish, you know, they called some great players that came through for us. And uh, I just, I really appreciate those two, uh, you know, having the confidence in the BBs that, you know, we can stop it and you know, we can bring pressure like that. Uh, you know, we were you know, giving up some plays here and there, but uh, sending the blitz and having faith in us is all good and uh, giving us confidence. Oh, yeah. Uh, attitude, you know, is it's gonna be in defense hands. Uh, offense is out there struggling, and you can't worry about them. We just gotta come out and keep doing our job. We just have to tell ourselves we just one play at a time. We just gotta, we just gotta get off the field. And we'll be fine. That's what we're doing. You got shell shocked at all? I mean, when you guys made the interception, turned for touchdown, you got any shell shock? So you know, I just, anything can happen. You know, I was just, I was just looking for the worst, so I can just keep out and keep playing. Because if you get too excited, you'll get off later on in the season. Everything. Happens. How much confidence does it give you going undefeated in 12? Uh, a lot of confidence. Like uh, our next uh, game is the conference game against Cal, and uh, being Iowa, a top-ranked team like that, it's gonna be a lot of men going towards Cal. You take us through your touchdown, man. Take us through the touchdown. Uh, yeah, I caught it, man. Uh, I know right before, coach was like, if it's too far in the end zone, like nearly. So I caught. That's why I kind of hesitated. But I caught it. I looked where it was. I'm like, you know what? It's the first one in the game. I gotta go. So I just took off, and then I seen the scene. I seen uh, Marquis blocking the guy out, and I cut inside, and I, just, I run to kick it to the sideline. Take us into the huddle, last drive. Bug Rice touchdown. What's going on? What's being said? Oh, uh, like main thing was said, like we were saying, like finish. Like this whole week of practice, we've been like going grinding so hard, and like I said, we can't make this game lost. We have to win. You know what I'm saying like last last year, we had those tough games. We lost that tough game. Like this year is about different. We're going on the road. For, for Bugs to be the ones to Yeah, but the main thing I like when Bugs dropped the punt, I told him, like, Bugs, hey, the game's not over. Still, like, eight minutes left in the game. Like, you want to win this game, just keep finishing hard. Don't want to get down on that. Look what happens. You want the game. Uh, we just talked to you together on the sidelines. Uh, like, how happy was you when you played play for and uh, ran back for a touchdown? I think you're just watching it. We all grouped together, and we've been practicing the late. Uh, Game drives all all year. We practice it every day, so they are all composed, and we knew what we had to do. And we just all came together as a group and said, "Let's just do it." And uh, we just went out there and executed, and uh, ended up winning. It seemed like everything in the second half kind of fell apart, and then on that last drive, it all came together. What was it about that that just you guys could get it together? Yeah, the second half we had a lot of penalties. I, I can't, I don't even know what the yards are. It's got to be humongous. Uh, lost a little bit of composure as a team, and I felt like we it just showed what kind of team we have because we all came together at the end and we gained our con uh, composure back after everything happened. And we ended up having that long drive, and uh, Bug came up with a big catch after he had a couple of rough series. So it, that, that just shows a lot about our team, a lot about our players and coaches. It was a nice seeing him bounce back like that. Oh yeah, it was great. I mean, I had confidence in him all along. He's had a couple of bad breaks, and. I mean, he, I still have a lot of confidence in him. He, he's bugged, man. I know he's going to make plays, so I just I gave him the ball and let him do it. Well, that last touchdown pass going to take us through it. What did you see? What were you looking for? Uh, they were, we were throwing a lot of corner routes, and uh, so they were sort of playing it like that. They were playing for the corner, and I just gave him a post across the middle. And uh, there's the, it went through like three guys, and it got the bug, so it was, he made a good catch. Can you talk about with Jerron going down, how big David Douglas was as your go-to guy today? Yeah, Jerron getting a little dinged up. He'll be fine, though. Uh, David, I mean, I have, com I have comments in all our series, but, I mean, everybody knows he's my roommate, and I know him real well, and I know he's not making plays. He better. Uh, you know, I got to go home. <laughs> no, no he, I have all the comments in the world to him, and he, he really showed up tonight, showed what he's capable of doing. What kind of statement does this game make to the country? It just shows that Arizona can play football. I think uh, there's been a lot said about Arizona, especially after the bowl game. And it just shows what kind of team we have and all, what kind of heart we have. <clears throat> We all came together as a team. We were physical. I mean, you saw our defense out there, what they did, and uh, our offense got together. And we still have a lot of work to improve on. We're not happy yet. We're not satisfied. We we still got to go back to work. I mean, Monday we're getting ready for Cal. So, I mean, I expect everybody to be mentally focused. We'll enjoy the win tonight, but we got to go in and correct our mistakes and get better. This isn't the end.
Is it nice going to conference play undefeated? It is nice. Uh, going, I mean, it's nice being undefeated any time. <laughs> uh, just uh, starting the season 3-0, I don't remember the last time Arizona's done that. It's uh, huge for our program. But like I said, we're not satisfied. We still have a lot of work to do, and we're going to we'll get back in the, on the practice field and get in the film room and get ready. How much different type of a mood was it to go back out there knowing you were tied instead of trailing after that block? It was the same mood. Um, either way, you're either going to need a field goal or a touchdown. It really wasn't going to change anything. And uh, I mean, we were already focused. It was nice that so you always it's nice to get a block field goal and be tied. But uh, we were already together. We were already uh, together as an offensive unit, and we were focused. We were, we were ready to go out there and uh, you know come back. We had we sort of had a rough uh, second half, and uh, I mean we were beating ourselves. We had all our penalties and just a couple of bad plays, and we regrouped and uh, showed where our offense uh, was capable of doing. It. Nick, it was a bizarre game to watch. Was it a bizarre game to play? I mean, that, you know, like, like the first quarter. Uh, the defense spends the whole time on the field, and you're still ahead 14 to nothing. Then you get the bounce off the helmet in your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was a bizarre game. There was a lot of penalties and a lot of bizarre plays. We did put pressure on them. You know, the ball. They were pretty successful throwing the ball, but at the end, it was too much. The crowd was awesome. The whole call was more of the thing. Three straight sacks and a lot of fast offensive drives. You guys got to do that. Yeah. My mom texted me, she said she was watching TV Guns, uh, some kind of record, it was a team record or something, but it was crazy. Was Overall, the performance on, on you guys, you know, there's a lot of pressure going in, size versus speed. You guys shut up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we shut down the line and we knew that was essential um, in winning. Because then they were just going to start uh, throwing the ball. It just shows how much we've grown up. Uh, I mean, it's still early in the season. Uh, we're 3 0. We still have a lot of work to do. Like a lot of work to do. Just to the rest of the country. We've all grown oh, together. Man, we're all young. It was the biggest win I've ever been a part of. We've gotten the offseason this year. Such a huge uh, we really push each other. Uh, coach and our team coach and his uh, staff. I'm, I'm just so happy. Always do a great job. They always push us to be better than we ever think we can be. And I know coming into the season, the defense was kind of seen as the weak point. All throughout the weekend, we're going to be a factor in it. I mean, we did that before. But it was a lot of, it was, really we kept pushing it because we wanted, we knew coming in the season, season that's been we wanted to push it, we had a chip on our shoulder, to come in we really worked hard. And, um, we still have a lot so of work to do, we've got to continue to work hard. You know, this game we need to clean up a few things. We just need to get ready for next week, uh, get everyone healthy again. Uh, a lot of guys are nicked up. Uh, Coach Suits made a point of saying, you know, last year it was a winnable game for you guys. There was just play, one play, two plays, two plays that were uh, the facto reason why. But this year, you know, again, the plays came, but you guys were able to overcome. Yeah, and, uh, another good up to my own. <laughs> Um, they made some huge plays towards the end, some great catches. Is that really? I mean, when it's 27 27? Yeah, it told a different game than the rest of them. When you talk about the strategy you see from Justin Washington, just give it all serious. I know. Yeah, and uh, he's, he's doing great. I think he's a sack leader. I mean, he's like, and he, you know, he plays nose, and you know, he just does whatever with, with their, what our defensive coach wants. And, uh, he moves around, he's very versatile. Brooks on their last series. I mean, I'm sorry, you already answered this, but Stanton, you guys just destroyed him. Oh, oh, talk about those plays. Those sets. Yeah, we changed up uh, formation in um, our front. And, uh, they didn't know what to do. They, they hadn't seen it all game, and uh, I don't think we ran it um, in Citadel or Toledo. So they, they didn't know how to adjust to it. And it was just too. Old. So being in that position, this stage, national TV, being poised after the offense to get you the lead back, and then challenging Iowa in that series. What was that like? Oh, I've never been a part of a game like that. You know, we ch challenged the, the higher ranked team. And, uh, and, uh, everything kind of came together. Guys made big plays. That's what it came down to. So I feel like you guys have been kind of driving nationally. Well, like, that's all I got to do. Turn the corners. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, this game was definitely a point turn. But, um, you know, we still have the whole Pac-10 to play, so that's what we're going to be concentrating on. You know, we just got to keep our eye on the prize and, you know, not get too big-headed. Uh, just coming on Monday and start working. Did you get anything going in that a lot of talk was on Iowa's defensive front and play for? Yeah. Uh, how, 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 how did you want to measure up with them? Did yeah. mean a lot to you guys? Yeah. yeah. You know, especially for me because I was injured uh, last year during the Iowa game. And uh, to have a good game, it you was know, the most to me. Um, and I know that the front four for Iowa is frustrating because we had game planning and, and uh, you know, it worked. So.
what the solo said that in the last few codes there, that they let you free a couple times and didn't understand it. Why they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Were you kind of surprised you how free you were? Yeah, yeah, and I thought it was some screen or something, so I kind of slowed down. I wasn't sure what was going on. But. Could you, could, you, could you sense it from their players or Stanzi that they were kind of frustrated or caught off guard by the yeah. new formation? Yeah, they, you know, we, we changed it up on them. And, uh, they didn't know what to do in the crowd. And right. Our student section was so loud they couldn't hear themselves sing. So. Have you ever been part of a sequence like that for a Saxon or a No, never. <laughs> it was the best feeling to, be, to win the game. Thanks, folks. Yeah,